we are really interested in this training. We think this kind of training is what's going to really save preservation, literally save preservation in the United States in the future. So we think that unless people gain these skills and interest in the field early on in high school, it's not really going to be able to be sustained in the long haul. So you guys are um, important to us this year to keep the field school alive and to keep the Dutch Reformed Church on a positive path towards restoration. Davis was one of the first architects to design double height windows. That was one of the sort of the unique additions that he brought to American architecture. You're gonna help restore some of those windows, okay? And that's actually a very valuable skill. So you'll be learning marketable skills, you'll be learning valuable skills, and you'll be helping to restore one of the most important buildings in your own city. The program this year is being uh, co-instructed by myself. Uh, I'm a, from a contracting background, but I also started out in preservation carpentry. And Jeff Finch, who works for the National Park Service, was also a contractor and uh, currently works for the National Park Service doing preservation and restoration work. Think about what way we can make these secure uh, against intrusion, but yet do it in such a way to do the least damage to the structure of the building. The Dutch Reformed Church was uh, finished in 1837, but in 1865 uh, the windows were completely taken out and a new style was brought in. Uh, the windows are 27 feet tall and 4 feet wide, or just about 4 feet wide. So the students this year get to take the window sash and uh, learn how to uh, handle them correctly, shellac them, oil them, prime them, uh, set the glass in, we use historic glass, and reglaze them. And then they finish off the window sash by uh, two coats of primer and two coats of top paint. Some of them are returning students and some of them this is their first time. Um, and this year a group of kids came from the uh, Construction Academy at NFA. So some of them probably did have some experience, but this kind of work is restoration work, so it's a little slow pace. So I don't think they were expecting to, you know, have to be so delicate and particular with some of the tasks. But overall, I think it was a great learning experience. I did have a good experience last year. I came back because I learned a lot of things. I was with my friends, you know, it was, it was good. I came back because, you know, I really liked the program last year. So I, it was something that was really important to me. I wanted to see this church become something nice that we can all admire and enjoy. I was told it's a great, it's a great program. I mean, you learn a lot, of, a lot of stuff from it. Occupies your time and you get paid for it. Primarily, I've been working on windows, shellacking. I like shellacking and painting. The glazing, you definitely have to do a certain way because it takes a lot of time. You have to really like take your time with the putty. Or just do it like really smooth and slow. I learned that from Jeff and Tim. You have to make it straight enough, and if there's like lumps in it, you gotta make sure it's smooth and now it's crazy, but it's fun. I like that part of the job. We're also doing a lot of woodwork too this year. We're doing, we're building stairs right now, and that's a really big task. It's not easy. There's a lot of precise measurements involved. There's a lot more work than it looks like it is. In my experience is like, it teaches you how it is in the real world. Everything is not about fun and games. It's about getting to work, and that's it. My favorite thing was building the stairs. A lot of new stuff I learned. It's been a good experience. It's been pretty rewarding. Pretty rewarding. Giving back to the community, learning new stuff, different career options, responsibility, and work ethic. The importance of that. I learned some new things, new tricks with tools, new uh, framing tricks, also how to glaze windows. Anything where you learn something new that's useful to you is a good experience. This summer we had a lot of different activities that we did. Amongst other experts, we had Andrew Ferron. He actually made paint with the kids. The kids really enjoy learning these different techniques and about these historical sites. You know, you learn so much within a short amount of time. A lot of teenagers don't realize how historically important Newburgh is. Media Day was so interesting. The kids really enjoyed the cameras and the news reporters, and it was a good experience. For one week, they 
we went over to Habitat for Humanity and did some yard work and we worked in one of the houses. So it, that was a week I think it taught the kids a little bit about humility because while we were also there, other people came in that were not getting paid to do some of the work that we were doing. That too was a learning experience. It's um, just been a big joy to work with these kids uh, and see them you know, learn something new, something they would, may have never been exposed to before. From the preservation aspect, even just to basic carpentry skills, as well as work ethic. And just, you know, this is a job and uh, they get to learn over five weeks what it means to you know, be to work on time and do a good job and keep a work site clean and, and a lot of great lessons that will help them hopefully throughout the rest of their lives. Just working in this building, you probably will now walk down the streets and just look at some of these old buildings and say, wow, you know, I wonder what the history is behind that building. So, you know, appreciate where you come from, where you come from and hopefully others will, you know, follow in your footsteps and the legacy will live on through these kids because we learned a lot of vital information and hopefully they'll pass it down to their children as well.